Hey, this is Carla Mano with CPTV News, and I'm here with... Coach Formosa. Coach Formosa, how do you prepare your athletes for a race? Well, uh, cross country is an interesting sport. It's a long process. Uh, usually we have a meeting about cross country at the end of May, and we start in June. So as soon as school uh, gets out, we hit the ground running six days a week through the whole summer. And uh, it's, you know, we, these guys have already been running for about 16 weeks already. Wow. Yeah. And each, like, each session, each practice is about how long? Uh, normally a practice will be something between an hour and a half and two hours, depending on what kind of workout we're doing, what kind of run it is, uh, weight room, depending on what it is that we're doing. But usually, you know, we could do about an hour and a half, two hours of, of, of preparing for practice, yes. And what drove you to become a cross-country coach? Uh, it's an interesting story. I was always a soccer player first and then found myself at a school that did not have soccer. And naturally, running is always part of soccer and just went out for the team when I was in high school and the rest is history. This is Carla and I'm here with... Catherine Condes. So Catherine, what do you do when you're not motivated to run anymore? Um, I try to focus on the other people I'm running for, like my teammates and my coaches, and they they keep me motivated to push myself when I don't want to. And what's your favorite running memory? Um, when I broke 30s at the meet, because it was the first meet I remember actually pushing myself the whole way because I had that goal that I've been trying to achieve for so long, and being able to actually do it when I crossed the finish line, it's the first time I understood tears of joy. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. This is Carla, and I'm here with... Yamila. So, what is one of the most difficult obstacles you have overcome while playing foot soccer? Um, an obstacle that I had while playing soccer was probably when I messed up my ankle in a game. Did it hurt? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and how do you think the practice incorporates with cross-country? It incorporates with the running that you do. It's a lot of running. And you also have to like stay up to your running. Yeah, because then you'll be super tired and like... You need to build up your resistance. You what? Build up your resistance. True. And how do you think your coach has helped you achieve your goals or your performance skills? He's helped me like build up my resistance by constantly letting like Constantly making us do suicide and stuff like that. All right. Thank you.